Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you that you can measure with your knuckles. I'm going to show you how to measure with your knuckles. This will be a measurement life hack and tutorial, so let's get right into the video. If you take a look at your knuckles, there's a good chance that one of your knuckles is going to be about an inch long. It might be a tiny bit smaller than an inch. It might be a tiny bit longer than an inch, but at the end of the day, it's probably going to be one of your knuckles is probably going to be about an inch long. So what I recommend is that you take a measuring tape or a ruler and you measure your knuckles and you find out if one of them is about an inch long so i'm gonna measure this one this one is an inch and a quarter so this is too big but i know because i already measured it obviously before i started this video that my pinky knuckle right here is exactly an inch almost to the exact marking so my pinky knuckle is almost exactly an inch okay i'm trying to turn it to show you it's hard to see because my pinky's behind it but it is literally almost exactly an inch to the marking so what that means is that every time I put this part of my pinky knuckle, okay, I guess the knuckle is here, I guess. I don't know what this will be. This will be the bone, right? But you're measuring from knuckle to knuckle, I guess. So you're still measuring with your knuckles. It's very simple. At the end of the day, if I was to put my pinky down on something, I know that that's an inch. So if I want to measure, for instance, if I want to measure um, my hand, I'll measure my hand first from the base of my palm all the way to the top of my middle finger, I can just measure with my pinky and that's one inch continuing that's two inches, continuing, that's three inches, continuing, that's four inches, continuing, five inches, and about a half an inch. So five and a half inches from here to here. Is that exactly precise? No, most definitely it is not. Obviously it's not. Let's say I have my coffee mug here and I wanted to measure from the bottom of the coffee mug to the top, okay? Once again, I would do, you can go faster, but to make it as accurate as possible, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do go like this. So one, two, three four, five, six, seven and a half, seven and a half inches. And let's take a drink of coffee to uh, toast to that. Also because I'm thirsty and I'm tired. So let's get some coffee in the system. Anyways, it's a very, very easy life hack. All that you need is a ruler or a measuring tape one time. Once you measure and know which knuckle is about an inch long, then what you can do is you never have to use this again. You just use that. Just remember which knuckle it is and you're good to go. If you have a knuckle that's an inch and a half long, you can still measure. Like, let's measure this knuckle for me. That is about an inch and a half, this knuckle right here. This one right here is about an inch and a half long. So I can still measure with this knuckle, but every time I use it, it's going to be an inch and a half, three inches, four and a half inches, excuse me, six inches, seven and a half inches, nine inches, blah, blah, blah. So every time I use that one, it's going to be an inch and a half. It's really easy to do. And it's a very simple life hack and tutorial. I've shown you exactly how to do it in this video. And I truly hope that you have enjoyed it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.